Hi guys. It is a cold, gloomy, yuck day here. Yes. In the collapse of global industrial civilization on this nasty Friday, October 16th, 2020. Oh yes, I am Sam Mitchell. This is Collapse Chronicles. And this is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza, doing what we do every Friday, and that's bringing you our ecological meltdown roundup rant. And we go over to mongabay.com for their laundry list of all the ways this planet is collapsing this week. But <clears throat> before I go over to Manga Bay, uh, some of you might recall some hazy memories from the past here in the Doomosphere when we used to also hear from these from those uh, doomers over there at the Washington Post and the Center for Biological Diversity. And I also get my my uh, newsletters, my roundups from them uh, each week. I just don't have, there, there's so much doom and gloom but uh, before we get into Manga Bay, let's just take a peek over there. Just let's take a quick peek over at uh, see what's in the on the minds of the Washington Post. Okay, here's a here's the view from Wapo. All right, how about this one? Uh, their lead off story, the number of global methane hotspots has soared this year despite the economic slowdown from the corona panic. Huh, anybody sur suffering some delusion about the C word? <clears throat> the worldwide number of methane hotspots has soared 32% so far this year, despite the economic slowdown, according to satellite imagery, blah, blah, blah. Um, and this is looking, what this uh, study is looking at is methane leaks from the oil and gas industry, not the methane leaks from the melting permafrost and the methane leaks bubbling up from the bottom of the ocean. This is that from the oil and gas industry, 32% uh, increase in uh, talk about methane emissions. Good Lord. I, I think we have a methane hot spot in uh, outside of Ithaca, New York. <clears throat> anyway, okay, a little Mr. Methane hot spot. All right, what else is on WAPO's uh, list here? Cameron Peak fire becomes biggest blaze in Colorado history. This is on the mainstream media today. Uh, the blaze is still expanding. I think it's up to about 160,000 acres. Colorado's two biggest wildfires on record have now occurred in the last three months. From Colorado to Australia, we touched on this in yesterday's video. Warming has killed half of the coral in the Great Barrier Reef, it might never recover. Bleaching events in back-to-back -back years so thoroughly wiped out the coral in the Great Barrier Reef that it cannot easily reproduce anymore, researchers found. Do you think so? From Australia to Arizona, Phoenix has hit 100 de degrees on record-breaking half of the days in 2020. 
the unrelenting and unprecedented heat that scorched Phoenix all summer has carried over into the fall. And you can draw your own dots between that and this one. Earth has its warmest September on record and 2020 may, may clinch the hottest year on record. The record warmth has been driven in part by a freakishly hot Siberia uh, this year. I anyway, I could go on. Let's just do a couple from uh, the Center for Biological Diversity. All right. Uh, let's look at how the biological diversity is not quite so diverse this week. How about giraffes? <clears throat> giraffes are undergoing a silent extinction. Their populations are down 40 percent. I don't know what baseline they're using there. Giraffe populations are down 40 percent due to habitat loss. Civil unrest in Sub-Saharan Africa, the number two cause of giraffe mortality, civil unrest, and don't forget poaching for the international trade in bone carvings, skins, and trophies. All right, from giraffes to wolverines, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has denied has denied Endangered <coughs> Species Act protection to wolverines. Yes. Uh, <coughs> so the center and allies are planning to sue the Trump administration, yes, with fewer than 300 of these fierce, snow-loving animals left in the contiguous United States. There is no justification for withholding safeguards. Yes, do you think so? Here's a story on mountain lions, uh, mostly in California. As long as we're in California, let's look at one more. How about a Joshua tree apocalypse? Yes. <clears throat> California's western Joshua trees are threatened by climate change, wildfire, and habitat destruction from development. If humans, if humans don't do something, if humans don't do something, it is likely that Joshua trees will vanish from Joshua Tree National Park and the rest of their range. Do you think so? Okay. But anyway, I, did, I just wanted to give a nod uh, to the Washington Post and the Center for Biological Diversity. So, you know, I could do this every week, too. <clears throat> but you know, guys, I, I, I mean, there, there, there's only so much time in a day anymore, you, you know, to, to go through this. This never-ending laundry list. Uh, okay, but let's move on to Manga Bay. And uh, again, guys, I, I'm only going to touch on about half of uh, this, this story. I love when they, when they uh, ask a question, can an art museum can an art museum uh, drive sustainability? Yes. Uh, the answer to the question is no. An art museum cannot drive sustainability. Yes. Several articles today about uh, this new deregulation law in Indonesia, and they've been talking a lot about this. I guess it's finally officially gone into effect, where pretty much Indonesia has just gutted 
any joke environmental protection laws they ever had. Just uh, the already hilarious uh, environment, Indonesian environmental protection laws. Uh, is that this Joko Widodo guy has completely sold out uh, Indonesia to China. The, uh, the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative is uh, pretty much just paving over Indonesia. Uh, it, it's just a, an, an open pass to the planet eaters to do whatever they want to. Deregulation, you know, also being championed by our own Joko Widodo uh, here in this own country where any in, in, in environmental uh, regulations that have been put in on this planet are being gutted. Indonesia, Brazil, the United States kiss them goodbye and of course there is a C word connection to all of this which uh, I'm not gonna uh, I, I might do one or uh, okay we're, we're gonna do one <clears throat> I, I, I'm gonna do one corona panic story uh, you know manga bay is is the most honest uh, reporting about uh, the corona panic and really looking at the economic uh, lockdowns about how the planet eaters are taking full advantage of the economic lockdowns from the corona panic to just go about their business with nobody left to stop them. The corona panic has given a get out of jail free card to the planet eaters. This, 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 I, I'm only gonna, uh, since I know you guys are totally threatened by some honest reporting, what was it? What, what did that mom and that climatologist that I was, reading her essay yesterday called uh, compared to what is coming down the pike she did not call the corona panic a bad hair day she called it a luxury holiday that what's going on in 2020 compared uh, to what's coming down the pike uh, a luxury holiday it is so, I'm so glad to see that some of these, um, you know, scientists are, are finally uh, speaking the truth. But anyway, one story. In Bali, we're going to go to the paradise of Bali. The corona panic unravels a hard-won campaign to save Benoa Bay. All right. In late August, officials in Bali ratified a new zoning plan, which critics say was, was passed without sufficient public review or participation. Uh, the new regulations <coughs> allow for sand mining, expansion of the harbor, you know, the, the ship harbor, and the and development of a new airport uh, plans to develop the bay have prompted years of protest and a previous proposal was shelved a year ago uh, but thanks to the fact that public protests have been completely silenced all over this planet, from Bali to anywhere, because of, you know, under the guise of, of the public health uh, threat of holding uh, demonstrations, uh, there you go. Uh, this is one example. Uh, the sea mining zone the sea mining zone in the new plan is close 
to a proposed marine conservation nursery area for dolphins and whales. Anyway, I'm not going to do any more C word, don't worry. Uh, I understand that uh, over half of the people listening to this video just shut it down. They do not want to hear the truth uh, about the corona panic. Anyway, enough of the C word. Uh, wow. You know, again, a lot of these articles. Uh, teasing apart this new law in Indonesia that just came into effect. New Indonesian law will make it harder to punish firms, meaning, you know, these planet-eating corporations for haze-causing fires. Yes, do you think so? All right, we have Singapore saving the planet, Singapore. If, if you have to, well, maybe Dubai is the most unsustainable uh, city on the planet, but Singapore certainly being in the top five most unsustainable uh, cities on planet Earth. But Singapore is stepping up to the plate to save the planet by planting, promising to plant one million trees to protect its future. Okay, here is um, this article. There's several articles about drought in the Amazon. I, I'm going to go uh, down to, uh, I'm going to skip down when we're talking about drought in the Amazon. Uh, here is the Amazon savanna rainforest teeters on the brink as climate heats up. A new study has found that 40% of the Amazon rainforest is now at risk of turning into savanna due to decreases in rainfall. Um, the paper's authors use satellite data, climate simulations, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the team's simulations suggest that sustained high greenhouse gas emissions through the end of this century could shrink the minimum size, whatever that means, could shrink the minimum size of the Amazon rainforest by 66 percent. 66 percent. Uh, as the Amazon rainforest goes over the tipping point into the Amazon savanna. Uh, Okay. Uh, what? How many cows are in the Amazon? Uh, how many beef cattle? Uh, this is looking at one state, Para State. Decades of growth in the cattle ranching industry have meant that the state of Para is now the Amazon state with the largest herd in Brazil at 20.6 million head of cattle now grazing the burned over rainforest. Pará has two and a half beef cows for every human inhabitant. Yes. 14 of the 22 Brazilian meat plants uh, approved to export beef to China since last year are in the Amazon. And speaking of the Amazon, you know, Manga Bay has its own YouTube channel. Uh, so there, so they do a video each week on over there on their YouTube channel. Their video this week is simply titled "Human Fires." Human fires. You will not believe this. This video explaining to this, 
to you if you don't understand this. What is behind the Amazon fires in 2020? You will not believe this. Humans, humans are behind most Amazon fires in 2020. Uh, <laughs> here is Harvard University has been uh, it has been uh, implicated in a, this giant land grabbing scheme in Brazil down in the Cerrado. Uh, anyway, that's a complicated story. Uh, here's a story about endangered gorillas in Nigeria. I can't believe there are any gorillas still surviving in Nigeria. Here is more uh, on the on Indonesia's new regulation deregulation law. Uh, a recently passed deregulation law uh, is posed to benefit large-scale fisheries and tourism developers. Uh, yes, the new law will reopen access to foreign fishing vessels into Indonesian waters and allow reclamation and geothermal projects inside marine ecosystems. <clears throat> Then we move over to Sri Lanka, where there is a new mystery, a new mystery killing sea turtles <clears throat> in Sri Lanka. Uh, autopsies on several of the dead turtles washing up on the beach show they appeared to have been healthy prior to their death and exhibited none of the injuries consistent with entanglement in fishing nets. So the, the top two suspects uh, are a recent oil spill uh, from a crude carrier, and another possible cause is blast fishing. Blast fishing, you know, which is when uh, these small term, they, 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 you know, these little local guys uh, just go out in their boats <clears throat> and they light dynamite out in coral reefs. Uh, and this is not limited uh, to Sri Lanka. This is all over, uh, particularly offshore tropical waters where these little planet nibblers get a stick of dynamite. <clears throat> They go out into a coral reef or wherever and they just dynamite, throw dynamite over the edge of their boat and just kill every single living animal uh, in the blast zone. And then they just go scoop up the ones that they want and leave behind all the rest of the dead animals to uh, to rot. If you did not know what blast fishing is, uh, what's going on with the harpy eagle? For Amazon's harpy eagles, nesting trees are also coveted for timber. Yes, a new study finds that nesting trees for the harpy eagle in the Amazon are almost all targeted by the commercial timber industry. Do you think so? What's going on over there in China? No uh, roundup would be complete. Would you believe, guys, <coughs> that China is still making pangolin-based herbal treatments despite banning the use of pangolin scales. Yes, according to this 
uh, a new report has found that medicines containing pangolin scales are still being produced and sold throughout China. Do you think so? Um, anyway, guys, uh, what's going on in Bolivia this week? In Bolivia, more than 25% of major fires so far this year burned inside protected areas. More than 120 major wildfires have uh, devastated Bolivia since March. Just inside one of these national parks, uh, an area of forest half the size of New York City has burned this year. Yes, uh, this year, uh, there have been more fires detected compared to last year's devastating blazes. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, you will not believe that new evidence suggests that China's dark vessels poached in Galapagos waters, talking about this giant Chinese fishing fleets. Okay, so now we have some conflicting information coming out of Brazil. So, Brazil officially reports lower deforestation, but higher number of fires in September. So this is uh, according to the official Bolivian government uh, reports a third straight monthly drop in Amazon deforestation in September. Yes? Is it a bear? Is it a bear? Koi wolf. What is it? Is it a bear? You need to get that that koi wolf. See if it's coming in front of that window like that. Anyway, uh, we have a we have a bear or a koi wolf getting ready to attack Sancho Panza. Anyway, so uh, according to Brazil, according to the Brazilian government, deforestation in the legal Amazon, whatever the legal Amazon is, uh, has showed a third month of decline. However, the official reported decline in recent months does not match the trend reported by Amazon, an independent non-government organization which has reported increases, increases in the deforestation rate of more than 30 percent in July and August. They haven't published their September analysis yet. Uh, the discrepancy could be due to the different methodologies used by the two systems, though normally, though normally, uh, you know, up until now, uh, the two groups' data show a strong correlation. Yes, um, and even the even the uh, official numbers being reported by the Brazilian government still admit that a uh, that up ten percent deforestation. Uh, I'm sorry, they're claiming it's down ten percent. Uh, but 
it's still the second highest on record since 2008. Uh, last year being the highest. So anyway, guys, anyone who wants to believe any official deforestation rates coming out of the Brazilian Amazon, as long as we're down there, mining covers more than 20% of indigenous territory in the Amazon. A new report from the World Resources Institute, uh, blah, 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 reveals that mining has impacted more than 20% of the Amazon's indigenous territory. Um, the analysis shows that deforestation rates are as much as three times higher on indigenous lands with mining compared to those without mining. And Guys, let's just, uh, one, one more, one more. The little dog is having a panic attack, thinking we're being attacked here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, and I have to go see what bug is up his butt. So we're going to finish up. You will not believe this. We are not protecting enough of the right areas to save biodiversity. Yes, little dog. Where's that bear? Where's that bear? Uh, in 2010, the UN, yes, the UN's Convention on Biological Diversity, yes, agreed that at least 17% of global land and 10% of the ocean needed to be protected by 2020. Yes, but a New Global Review finds that we have fallen short of these targets, yes, and the expansion of protected areas over the past 10 years has not successfully covered priority areas such as biodiversity hotspots. Hmm, the research, uh, showed threatened species, uh, the research team overlaid, overlaid maps of protected areas, threatened species, productive fisheries, and carbon services, and found that 78%, 78% of known, known threatened species on this planet do not have adequate protection. Anyway, guys, I could go on and on with this, but I understand that I've been talking to myself since that story talking about how Corona panic, uh, the, the luxury vacation day compared to the tsunami uh, heading our way. Uh, is contributing to the collapse of a planet, and I'm tired of talking to myself. Uh, we might, we seem to have a bear or a koi wolf out in the yard, and uh, I need to uh, find something to eat on this gloomy day. So anyway, if you enjoyed what Manga Bay had to share with you, give Rhett Butler some love and some thumbs up, and you're welcome to subscribe to Collapse Chronicles while you're over here. And I really appreciate uh, anyone who has ever supported whatever it is that I do over here in, in, on YouTube to keep you depressed and demoralized while you still can. Bye, guys. Okay, you're going to get the bear or the koi wolf or whatever it is out there. You ready to eat it or what? Bye, guys.